congratulations to CDGA on 100 years. For 100 years, the Chicago District Golf Association has stood for excellence in this extraordinary game of golf. Now the CDGA's magazine comes to life on TV. Chicago District Golfer celebrates the traditions of the past while connecting with the present. It's a golf show that is sure to inform and to have a little fun along the way. For what's important in Chicago golf, it's Chicago District Golfer TV. On this season premiere, we look back on golf in Chicago before the CDGA. We'll play show and tell with a few new golf items for 2014. We have lots of instruction, including a tip from one of the top players on the planet. The Champions Tour is getting ready to come back to Chicago. We'll take you to a new custom fit golf experience. And we visit a warm and friendly English style 19th hole. Hello, I'm Jill Carlson and welcome to Chicago District Golfer in this special milestone centennial year of the CDGA. Golf in Chicago before the CDGA? Well, surprisingly, there's a lot going on around the turn of the century. Courses were popping up all over town. There were advances in golf equipment and big time tournaments in the area. Chicago, along with New York and probably Philadelphia, are the three most influential cities in golf in America. The club at the forefront of all these developments was Chicago Golf in Wheaton. The club hosted three U.S. Opens and four U.S. Amateurs between 1897 and 1912. The immortal C.B. McDonald was the architect of Chicago Golf, a fine player in his own right with an ego to match. He designed the course so all of the out-of-bounds was on the left to favor his pronounced fade. However, he attempted to grow the game by educating people who had no clue about this new sport. He tried to convince people to play golf. And of course, think about trying to convince people. You take a club, you hit this little ball, and you hope it goes into a hole. I mean, without a whole lot of vision or trying it out, it was pretty hard to convince. Famous amateur Chick Evans planted plenty of seeds in the Windy City and beyond. He developed his game at the defunct Edgewater Golf Club in Rogers Park and went on to win the Western Open at Beverly in 1910. The legendary Donald Ross designed this gem on Chicago's south side. There are around 40 clubs that were around when the CDJ was formed that are still around. The CDJ had fewer charter members, but they all joined in the next few years. The, uh, some of the great clubs and great courses in America are among that group. Exmoor, which has been a leader for a long time. Midlothian, which held a U.S. Open won by Walter Hagen the year before the CDJ was formed, uh, beating Chick Evans by one shot in 1913 in rather dramatic fashion himself, and Chick almost holed out. Right before the CDGA opened its doors, another Donald Ross course was being developed just west of Chicago, Oak Park Country Club. Playing it's like taking a fun step back in time. Along with the CDGA, Oak Park reaches a milestone celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. It's, it's kind of like the pinnacle of, of golf to be celebrating 100 years, right? The CDGA, 100 years, Wrigley Field, a uh, hundred years. Chicago Golf was also an equipment testing ground of the day thanks to the Fowlis brothers who came over from St. Andrews in Scotland. They invented the modern cup and flag stick and the machiniblick, which you may know as a seven iron. One day they brought out some old refurbished golf balls and made an interesting discovery. And one ball went further and straighter consistently. And he kind of thought, well, this is odd. Why is this ball doing better than the other balls? So he went back to his shop and cut it open and found out it was a Haskell ball, the rubber core ball. And what the difference was between this rubber core ball than what the Haskell designed, he put the Agrippa or the Bramble finish on it and that was where you had the bumps on top of the ball. So the trajectory of it went straighter. There's so much history with golf in Chicago during this era from the development of Onwencio Club in Lake Forest, which still stands today, to the old Washington Park racetrack, which actually had holes played inside and around the track. Those greens were transplanted to the South Shore Country Club, 
when it was building its new nine holes. And as far as I know, those holes haven't really been revised. So if you want to go putt on 110 year old greens, in fact, 120 if you go all the way back to the start, get yourself to South Shore, which is now of course a public course and give yourself a roll or two out there. By the way, the very private Chicago golf is still thriving as the nation's oldest 18 hole course. In recent times, the course hosted the 2005 Walker Cup. Well, you saw Adam Scott at the top of our show a little later on. He'll give us some insight as to how he hits his driver. It's time for a quick break. When we return, we'll take a gander at some fun new products for 2014. You're a complicated, diverse creature. A fine mix of debonair and adrenaline. Battle scars and good jokes. With an exceptionally smooth taste, only 95 calories and 2.6 carbs, Michelob Ultra is the superior light beer. Perfect for every side of you. Some of the greatest names in golf return to Chicago as the Encompass Championship returns to North Shore Country Club. Stadler, Longer, Perry, Couples, Mediate, Sluman. Great golf. Great fun. The Encompass Championship, June 16th through 22nd. For tickets and information, go to EncompassChampionship.com. Many people think you run a business just to make money. No, you run a business because you get to build something. You get to impact the future, to help employees and partners put their kids through school. You get to create value that didn't exist before, because that's your name on the building. And it's not just a payroll, it's people's lives, and they're like family. And there's nothing like reporting to yourself. At MB Financial Bank, we know why you work. MB means business. Hi, my name is John Platt. I'm the Director of Golf Instruction here at Mitzwood Performance Center located in Romanville, Illinois. The tip we're going to work on today is a little short game drill and stuff that we want to work on. With your wedge, I have a 58 degree wedge here today. If you have a 60, 56, we're going to do a little short game because what I see too often with the amateurs is I still see a lot of hand action with this shot. Okay, I'll see go back and take it back real fast. I'll see go back and come back real slow. What we want to do is I'm going to show up from this angle here. I want to stay centered. You can keep the weight a little bit left. I don't want you to bury your weight left. I want you to stay pretty much centered with a little bit more weight in the left. We take it back and have a little bit of hinge coming back through and then no hinge coming back through, trying to keep this face a little bit more open through the shot, not necessarily releasing it, which is going to create a lot of spin. Okay. And now here's the key thing. What I want you to do is I got two different shots here. I'm going to say keep the same backswing, but what I'm going to do is keep the same speed going back coming through and all we're going to do here is if I go to this little short one you're going to see my backswing back through and hit the shot now I'm going to go another 15 feet farther and all we're going to do is the same distance going back and through but now keeping the same speed just pick the speed up and what we're going to do is just pick it up a little bit come through it hit the shot you can see I keep my face open and that way there what you're doing is you're controlling your distance by using your body on this shot. Just don't stand there and use your arms. You're actually losing your body on this shot. But the key fact is keep the same speed back going th back and coming through and you'll find you'll become a much better short game player if you do that. Thanks John for that wise early season advice. What is the latest and greatest in 2014 in golf? Well, sit back and relax as our Dave Lockhart plays a little show and tell for you right now. Let's take a peek at colorful Cobra Puma Golf first. Its new BioCell driver features a lower center of gravity with a face that limits twisting, allowing for better alignment and impact. This fully adjustable club is built for practically anyone's game. We also have with this a, an adjustment tool in the hosel, it's called MyFly 8, and allows you to remove this hosel and twist it around like on this driver. You see all the different lofts, 
you can tune the launch to match your game, to again, hit it as far as you want or hit it a direction you want to hit it, all in the hosel. What we have to do with that is make something called a smart pad. This little one and a half centimeter wide piece right here allows you to adjust all that loft and lets it sit on that little tiny area and always deliver for you a square face so that you can align it down the fairway and hit it straight. For years, Titleist has been recognized as the game's number one ball. The company's main improvements to a number of nuggets, including the Velocity, DT Solo, the NXT Tour, and the NXT Tour S. Golfers told us that they were looking to shoot lower scores, and they wanted to focus on improving the feel uh, of that golf ball. But they didn't want to lose any distance, they just wanted to get better in and around the green with a better feel. So for that ball, both models, NXT Tour and NXT Tour S, we softened the core and softened the cover at the same time. In order to see the ball properly, you need the right pair of sunglasses. Under Armour has introduced a Hunter Mayhem model, which blocks the sun's harmful UV rays, yet makes it easier to detect the breaks in the greens. It's called Fire. Fire is a very cool glass because we worked with Hunter to find all the attributes a golfer would need from an amateur all the way to a professional level player. What's built into this glass is all the great technology that Under Armour would be looking for. It's got a great peripheral vision story for the golfer that teaches or at least helps the golfer be able to see out of the periphery of the eyewear. Second thing is it's got adjustability, so everyone's nose and face is different. So what you have in here is an adjustable nose pad that allows you to move it up and down depending on your face shape or your cheekbones, etc. Golfer's elbow or tennis elbow is a common golf injury. Luckily, there's Zenza. This company features a variety of products that are comfortable yet functional. It just is going to increase circulation, increase the oxygen going through your muscles, through your veins. Um, it'll just provide you that support at all times if you need it. It's great for during activity for that, also to reduce the risk of injury, kind of holding everything in place, reducing soreness, and afterwards it'll decrease your recovery time when wearing it. Tommy Bahama is known as cool and casual. The upscale apparel manufacturer have done some retooling to their line in an effort to attract younger players. For instance, this shirt here is something that is in our denim line, which is Tommy Bahama jeans wear. And it's a little bit, again, shorter sleeve, a little bit uh, narrower body silhouette. You can see the frayed edge on the collar here, a little contrast trim on the back. So a shirt like this, well, it works for everybody. It's kind of geared towards we're trying to get that, that younger guy that's pick, getting into golf and a lot of the younger guys that are joining clubs these days. Hope we introduced you to some items that will help you enjoy the game more this season. Coming up next, we'll visit with some Champions Tour players as they discuss next month's Encompass Championship at North Shore Country Club. Bose Creek Country Club has set the standard for public courses with a private club feel. This exquisite 18-hole championship layout offers the exclusive Member 4 Day concept. Pay just one fee and you get unlimited golf with a cart and full use of the bent grass practice facility. Plus there's Porter's Pub, a casual English style restaurant and bar that will complete your day the way you want to play. It's all here at beautiful Bowes Creek Country Club in Elgin, Illinois. Doing it, doing it. Are you ready to go? How's the hip? I think you know that we have to take this one plant at a time. It's really the only way that Eunice Fellman knows how to garden. We have got a lot of great bulbs, strong perennials. I am looking forward to a great season and can't wait to get back out onto the field. So thank you and good night. If you're a golfer, then the Chicago District Golf Association has something for you. The CDGA is home to a state-of-the-art golf handicapping service, which allows golfers of all skill levels to compete on a level playing field. The CDGA sponsors and conducts more than 50 championships for amateurs, high and low handicappers, juniors, seniors, men and women. The CDGA is a leader in charitable causes that brings the game to those with special needs. The CDGA is truly for everyone who plays the game. Visit CDGA.org for membership information and more. Hi, this is Jeremy Smith coming to you from our Athletico in Oak Brook at the Golf Performance Center. Today we're going to talk about the importance of the glutes in the golf swing. 
the gluteus medius, which is a muscle that is right here in your backside, is one of the most important muscles in my mind for the golf swing. It creates power, it helps decrease pain, and it helps prevent injury. Where we see that muscle is when you're in that backswing, that first move of the hip is the gluteus medius. So in order to strengthen this muscle and increase distance in your game, you're going to take a band, put it around your ankles, you're going to get in your golf posture, and you're going to walk sideways, maintaining tension throughout the band the whole time. You're going to go back and forth about five to ten times, and this should help increase the strength in your glutes and help increase distance in your game. For more tips on how to increase distance in your game, contact me at athletico.com. Thanks, Jeremy. Being fit can certainly help your game. Well, the Champions Tour made a triumphant return to the Chicago area last year after an 11-year absence with the Encompass Championship. The North Shore Country Club in Glenview and its classic layout is getting ready for the mid-June return of these classic players. Our Dave Lockhart has more. North Shore is a straightforward design which poses a challenge to every type of player. The place is steeped in history, having played host to a Western Open, a U.S. Open, and a couple of U.S. Amateurs. Last year's Encompass proved to be a success for the tour and for the Windy City Golf region as well. Love playing in the Chicago area. It's where a tournament should be. We should have something there, obviously. Uh, they did a great job with the event. Uh, great winner in Stads. You know that was wonderful for him to come. Uh, he hadn't won in a while, so it was really a great, uh, great victory for him and great for our tour. I think to a man, the players were really excited to come to Chicago, and then when they saw the golf course at North Shore, they head over heels in love with it. The Champions Tour is for players 50 and beyond. However, there's a few guys bouncing between this tour and the PGA Tour who are taking advantage of their one-time top 50 exemption in all-time earnings. But there are a few tournaments that I do want to play. I miss my buddies out there, and um, you know, I keep telling Fred Couples, I couldn't beat him when he was on the regular tour. I probably can't beat him on the Champions Tour, so I ought to just stay out here. You know, all us guys uh, on the Champions Tour, we do hang out a little bit uh, more so than here, I think. Uh, I think here in this tour, it's more of a, you know, play, go practice, go work out, do your own thing. Uh, Champions Tour, it's a little bit more uh, play, go rest, you know, <laughs> go, to, go to the bar, eat, and go to bed at 8 o'clock. Sure, many of these players made their hand on the regular circuit and are thankful for the Champions Tour mulligan, but don't think of this as an old-timers baseball game. It will bring anybody any age. Come on out and see what you can do. We'll bust you up and throw you aside. Trust me when I tell you. This is a, as, as much competition as you'll ever see in your life. I don't think anybody uh, looks at it as some kind of a joyride. You know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's competition. You guys work hard. They want to win. I enjoy Playing golf, I uh, enjoy the competition. I, you know, the travel's old, and uh, but you know, getting out here and being with the guys I've, I've known all my life, uh, you know, playing and, and being able to compete at, at my age is, is still a lot of fun. With the absence of the BMW Championship, the Encompass is the only professional golf tournament in town this year. These Champion Tour players relish coming back to the Windy City and playing in front of our golf wise fans. Chicago's. I mean, not only a great town, it's a great sports town, it's a great golf town. I played in the, you know, Western Open or the equivalent for 25, 30 years. We just love going to Chicago and it's so great to be back. I, what, what else can you say? World-class town, great golf, great people, great food, great everything. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's a great sports city and, and uh, I think we, we should be in Chicago, and I think Encompass has, has stepped up, and we have a great uh, host in North Shore Country Club, and the players are all uh, raving about the reception and the golf course, so I, I think we've got uh, nothing but good stuff ahead of us there. Hale Irwin has had his fair share of success in the area as well with three wins here in Chicago over the years. Head to EncompassChampionship.com for tickets and any other information you may need. We'll head over to Bolingbrook Golf Club now to check out its new Cleveland Golf Tour experience. Bolingbrook has teamed up with Cleveland Golf to take club fitting to the next level. 
And while you may never be a PGA Tour player, you'll get the same service they do and try to find the right fit for your unique swing. Very similar to, to DNA in that your swing is what your swing is. Uh, it's my ability to put the right set of equipment in your hands to make that optimal golf swing. Mark Omura employs the tour proven track man to aid in the fit process. The state of the art equipment that captures uh, so much data. I can get spin rate, I can get launch angle, I can get attack angle, I can get side spin, overall smash factor on, on how well they struck uh, that golf ball. Putting all of that aside, the true wow factor is in the ability to build the clubs right there at the course within a couple of hours. Everybody has the technology, but not everybody has the ability to build the clubs on site with the specific specs, have the golfer hit them that day, and if they don't feel quite right, adjust them that day. And if you think your handicap is too high to benefit from this technology, you're wrong. Golfers of any skill level can come out and go through the same fit that a Graham McDowell or a uh, Keegan Bradley may go through and get the same treatment. On top of that, walk away with the clubs the same day. It's always a good idea to get custom fit for your golf clubs. Up next, Adam Scott shows us how to hit it long and we'll pull up a chair at one of Chicagoland's best 19th holes. Have an exceptional golf experience at Aldine Golf Club in Rockford where you'll experience a fantastic challenge of golf on this championship course. Aldean Golf Club was voted one of the top 50 courses in the U.S. with Greens fees under $50 and ranked the best municipal course in Illinois by Golf Digest. Play a top-notch course at an affordable price. That's Aldean Golf Club. For the best rates, book your tee time online at aldeangolfclub.com. Many people think you run a business just to make money. No. You run a business because you get to build something. You get to impact the future, to help employees and partners put their kids through school. You get to create value that didn't exist before because that's your name on the building. And it's not just a payroll, it's people's lives. And they're like family. And there's nothing like reporting to yourself. At MB Financial Bank, we know why you work. MB means business. The driver is certainly made to be hit hard, especially these days, so, um, you know, I think fitting yourself out with the right one for your swing is a starting point, but when you're trying to hit it hard, you know, swinging out of your shoes is not always the key, you know, the fundamentals are so important to drive the ball well, a good solid base is key to keep you grounded, and uh, certainly making the best turn you can is going to help you get some distance but also some control so use whatever flexibility and turn you have to your advantage try and feel like a a coil kind of winding up and then unwinding so you know you're using all the power once the club returns to the ball and not wasting it as you take the club away trying to rip it some people are talking about swinging the driver more on upswing. Do you think about that at all? Do you do anything conscious like that? No, I wouldn't do that. I, I especially wouldn't advise that for an amateur. I mean, amateurs already try and tend to hit the ball up, you know, as a, as a general flaw in their game. So I definitely don't think trying to hit the ball in the air is going to do anything good for the amateur swing. The club has got loft on it, so use it. It'll do the work for you. That's the amazing thing with this great technology these days. The club does so much for you if you can just do a few fundamental things correctly and it's you know fairly simple stuff, then these clubs are going to give you a lot. Thanks, Adam. He's certainly one of the best drivers in the game today. Well, Bowes Creek Country Club in Elgin is recognized as one of the top public courses in the state of Illinois. Now, its English-style Porter's Pub stands as a one-of-a-kind 19th hole. 
Chicago's Best 19th Holes is presented by Michelob Ultra. The makeup for a great 19th hole has never been about just one thing. It's a combination of things. You know, when somebody goes and plays 18 great holes, you want the 19th hole to compete with those other 18 holes if not, and not be better. There's some beautiful Adirondack chairs that you can sit around and lounge, read a newspaper, have a, you know, a few sips of whatever your favorite beverage is. Or you have a great outdoor patio where people just like to linger and stay for hours after they play golf or just come in and get some sun. There's no doubt the ambiance here is worthy of a great 19th hole, but Bowes Creek delivers with a great and extensive menu too. The appetizer menu has to be pretty unique and you know, they, everybody wants to sample something. Nobody knows what they want to do. They want to just keep scratching off their card, get their bed settled, whatever they do. So one of the things we did, this giant pretzel, it's almost the size of the, the wheel on your golf cart. Kind of unique. We have a, a few interesting dips that go along with it. Mac and cheese golf balls that are golf ball sized mac and fried mac and cheese that come in a, uh, a basket of balls that you know from the range. Chicken pot pie, really cool chicken pot pie in a cast iron skillet. Um, hamburgers. Our burgers, first of all, are phenomenal. Um, it's one of our top sellers. Our second top seller would be our Rubens. They're just as close running as our burgers. We're known for the burgers. But don't let that stop you from ordering some of the other culinary delights at Porter's Pub. The great menu pairs brilliantly with a great course. We don't want you to remember the last putt you had on 18. We want you to remember the last sip you had here on 19. Tasty food and libations plus live music. Porter's Pub at Bowes Creek is a wonderful 19th hole. Well, obviously, our cold, harsh winter and spring has had a significant impact on our area courses with a variety of turf damage. Be patient, though. Mother Nature will eventually heal our fairways and greens, hopefully sooner rather than later, though. Thanks so much for joining us today and being a part of the CDGA's 100th anniversary. <laughs>